Good morning, TGO traders and investors. Wiz here with Thursday's market sit rep and seeing a mixed bag of economic data so far uh, this morning. Weekly unemployment claims came in at 305, uh, but uh, this is the number that really interests me. Uh, GDP. GDP came in flat. It was two uh, and a half last time, two and a half this time. But the, we were looking, uh, economists were looking for a little bit of a bump, uh, and we didn't get it. So again, the Fed's, hey, the second half of the year is going to be great, is really turning out to be uh, not true. Uh, later on today, we'll get, uh, pen, or this morning, we'll get pending home sales. Uh, and that's about it on our flight schedule uh, that I'm really going to care about uh, today. Tomorrow, going to see a lot of economic uh, data from some inflation to personal spending, personal income, and some revised University of Michigan consumer sentiment uh, uh, numbers there. Um, however, uh, you know, the conference board's numbers are uh, okay. I, I'll look at them. But Gallup also comes out with a uh, economic confidence index. It slumped back to its lowest level in six months. Um, so, uh, you know, it, it, you, you could just see the consumer halfway through this year going, eh, and then rolling over and flying down here. And I got to tell you, it's uh, the. Uh, T Senator Cruz obviously was tilting at windmills with his uh, mini filibuster on the floor there, but he has really called attention to a lot of things going on with Obamacare, the implementation of Obamacare, and the, the horror stories that we're, 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 we're starting to hear uh, with people's premiums, you know, as we get closer to a couple deadlines here, um, that it's an absolute train wreck. Yeah, you know, the president admitted yesterday, you know what, we actually did raise taxes on, on some things with Obamacare that we weren't supposed to. To do but you know uh, who cares uh, but we are seeing an absolute explosion of people's uh, bills we're seeing people losing insurance whoever thought this was a good idea it was absolutely foolish I mean whether it was uh, you know the Civil Rights Act uh, back in the 60s so security what uh, big massive social programs that have been uh, put through in the history of the United States have done so on bipartisan lines this Obamacare was rammed through on an absolute absolute partisan vote and partisan line. Uh, remember Nancy Pelosi's famous, well, we have to pass it in order to find out what's in it. Well, ma'am, we're starting to find out what's in it, and it's absolutely horrible. Okay, so not good with uh, Obamacare, and obviously we have a looming potential government shutdown and the debt ceiling fight. And just to remind you uh, of what uh, then senator and presidential candidate said uh, when Bush was trying to raise the debt ceiling, he called it unpatriotic. Just get and uh, Google that. What Obama said in his 2008 campaign about the debt ceiling, Unpatri called the president unpatriotic for uh, raising our uh, debt ceiling. Of course, you're not going to see this clip anywhere, and that's why I am showing it uh, to you. Uh, some uh, news out of Europe as well. Mario Draghi spoke a little while ago. Uh, European loans are declining at a record uh, late. Their money supply uh, and, and credit remains really, really tight over in uh, Europe. I'm not super concerned about Europe because I know that um, – Mario Draghi has a lot more bullets in his gun than our Fed chief who's shooting blanks. Mario Draghi can uh, lower interest rates. Uh, countries can directly capitalize banks. The IMF, the Eurozone can then bail out countries. They're, they're a little farther from a cliff uh, than actually we are, in my opinion. Uh, but just wanted to give you a heads up that uh, even though we're seeing some green shoots, so to speak, out of Europe, it still remains uh, a little soft uh, over there as well. Uh, futures looking mixed this morning. They're up right now. Might get a little bit of a, a relief or an exhausted bounce here. You know, we've been down for, what, a week in a row or whatever it is, uh, the longest uh, drag here in a while here. Uh, but again, very happy. We're getting ready to do our primary live trade brief this morning at 0900. Uh, really happy with our uh, Japan position. The EWJ iShares uh, uh, over the $12 point. We're looking at 1206 uh, pre-market. We've had a hell of a run uh, over there in Japan in the past couple months and just a really good trade uh, with Japan. And we're looking at nearly, um, I, I really like what Abe's doing over there. 
with our one trade on the EWJ, here we are. The synthetic stock position's up 74. It'll be up about 7,500 bucks this morning. About 360% return uh, on this uh, on this trade since we've uh, since we laid it on here. So very nice trade uh, on the EWJ and all of our emerging market positions. So I got to run, guys. Uh, I'm leaving Salt Lake City this morning. Spoke to John uh, Johnstone Supply yesterday. Heading back to uh, South Florida uh, today, and, uh, and then heading out to Argentina Saturday night. Uh, Buenos Aires. Uh, to speak to DirecTV, and then over to Tokyo to speak to uh, Macquarie uh, Financial. So going to be very interesting heading over to Tokyo and talking to the folks uh, over there about what's going on in Asia. So we're going to get a lot of insight into China, uh, Japan, and a lot of our emerging market positions. So stand by next week for some good intel on uh, what I saw in my uh, my little john around the world here. All right, got to run, guys. Have a great day. I'll be back with Friday's market wrap-up over at Wealth Creation Investing. We'll see you.